hello everybody so in last video we have seen how we can utilize chat gpt for formatting the manuscript according to the journal requirements basically we talked about the physics of fruit journal and in today's video we will talk about uh, the journal related to elsewhere and particularly we will talk about international journal of thermal science but this method can also be utilized for any other journal or any different formatting and also we will talk about how we can create the reference and format them according to journal requirements and how to add different figures and also editing or formatting uh, the code according to the your need or uh, journal requirements and also how to add or modify code uh, as per as the guidelines of uh, the journals so without wasting time we will uh, start how to create the code uh, here i am giving a simple instruction that i want to submit my manuscript to ijhmt which is international journal of thermal science and also i am telling the chat gpt can you create a template for it uh, for basically for LaTeX so you just uh, write a simple instruction and the code is basically generated uh, we are just going to copy this code and utilize this and uh, we will make the changes accordingly so let us see what it creates uh, we, we just copy the code yeah let let me paste it here or you can utilize any other latex editor and uh, just run it uh, yeah so we have here the title and different sections subsections and some formatting and we will check if this formatting is according to general requirements or not by comparing this with uh, some reference paper or uh, some guidelines given on the particular website so here we have most of the components like title, abstract, keywords and uh, sections, uh, subsections is not here but we will see how we can create it. So I am giving one more simple instruction to chat GPT that uh, a very simple instruction can you include some sample reference and some other components like tables, some figures. yeah can also mm, also some reference citation and uh, i want to include some references in and the particular manuscript so the code is modified according to my instruction and again i am going to follow the similar step like uh, copy this code and uh, just i will paste it there so it has created references here you can see here and the new line is added and he has uh, I think chat GPT added reference 1, 2 and 3 so you can see here and let us copy and we will see a little later how how it is created so I am going again to copy it and change the code so you can see here some references like some code is used site p and reference one two and three four something like that uh, so also there is certain style for reference or bibliography uh, according to journal and let us run this code so yeah so there is a little error that pdf file for this image is not there so we need to include one image and uh, the name of the image should come here I, I mean the file name basically like jpg png or any other formatting so I have just for demonstration purpose I have just written abc here so now I have to just change this figure 1 to abc or I can include fig1 file name here so now before that I am saving this document uh, this your directory basically uh, updated template or you can give any other name so I have just given a simple name here yeah so 
yeah any any name you ca you can give so yeah this figure i need to search and copy here this is figure one but either i i, I change there or i should change here so uh, before going to that step let me show you uh, because this has given the bibliography uh, file name as references but it don't have that bibliography or library file so i am giving a simple instruction that can you create a reference for our code so it is uh, you can see this library file is generated here uh, and the file format should be the bibtex uh, database or dot biv so i am creating this file just copy paste in your latex editor some new file and then name accordingly so i am going to use the extension dot biv to specify it as a bibtex database and uh, this file is going to contain all your references you can edit it modify it add another references in the same file and you can utilize those references so right now we have just these three or four references and uh, we have created this uh, document uh, bibtex database file so we need to specify this file name in your latex code uh, so that the uh, text studio or your editor will understand the path where actually your references are there so i i am going to change this to document because my library file is document dot biv or bibtex database is document dot biv so yeah the code is running it will take some time so basically abc i have not changed the name abc as i have told earlier so let me change this figure to abc yeah and then just run it again yeah so let us check if we have got this figure yeah figure is there and also references are there so basically it has created four references according to uh, journal formatting requirement like author's name titles journal name volume issue year so everything is there what is generally need why this journal basically international journal of thermal science and also you can see other components or many components which we have already seen and uh, we are going to compare every component and everything with a co journal formatting or on uh, there some sample paper so let me search some paper online i am going to the same journal international journal of thermal science and uh, guidelines for auth author so we can see all the guidelines for everything here like uh, yeah so how we can create different components and how we can format uh, yeah for new submission here they have clearly written that as a part of uh, your paper this is your paper your way and you may choose to submit your manuscript as a single file to be used in the uh, referring process so basically uh, your format should be consistent for this particular journal uh, and also uh, some requirements are there for referencing so for initial submission this could be also uh, this is also flexible you can create your own formatting but that should be consistent but for some journal there is some strict requirement and uh, also this depends on editors and reviewers how they actually like it some reviewer like really formatted paper and some are okay with as long as the format is consistent for most of the journal uh, format should be consistent in my opinion and in my experience but uh, if you stick to some guidelines and if you follow some 
some rules according to their requirements the reviewer and editor generally like more such papers or such manuscript so let us go to some yeah some recent paper and see what we can compare with this formatting yeah so yeah there is title there are author's name their affiliations then abstract keywords and also section subsection so let us check if these all components are here so the title author's name affiliation abstract keyword and then you have sections and subsections like here we can check the section and subsection requirements and what generally in this paper so let us go to yeah this is section 3 in bold and subsection in italics so same things is generated here table 1 here is also table 1 a slightly different and you can change it but as long as you are consistent this is also okay for submission and uh, there is some rectangular or referencing for table 1 so this is basically link red and green links are there so if you click on this you will go to a particular table or s references so these are corresponding authors email address their name and everything so let us check that here yeah here the corresponding author email address and the name in sort so this already created as per the requirements so you can edit it here according to your name or the author's name here then the figure one simulation results the caption you can also compare i think this is consistent but not as per the this journal paper uh, you can work on it if you like it you can modify it uh, you just have to follow the similar method or give the some code using the chat GPT and you can modify it and I will show you one example how can you modify this code to add it or to modify certain formatting but other things you can explore by yourself uh, and this is going to be fun uh, for you also because yeah so let let us do some experiment generally i use site not site p for my papers or my manuscript preparation so if it is going to change something yeah apparently no but there may be some internal things that might change so i generally use just site not site p and uh, there is rectangle so i was talking about that i am going to uh, do i am going to uh, give certain example that how can you modify code according to your requirement or according to your wish and uh, yeah so you can see all the formattings is proper here and everything is organized properly and certain things are not as per the strict requirement so you can leave it or you can also change it uh, with little bit of creativity or using some artificial intelligence or yeah using some tutorials guidelines there are many way basically to do it so now uh, now I will show you how this reference figure or this link is created and how you can modify it uh, slightly or according to your wish so let me give a uh, small instruction how to remove rectangular block from the hyperlink in latex from the code uh, you suggested and I just want to uh, link to appear in blue so basically links would appear in blue and that rectangular box should be removed so that is just the instruction and now every time we don't need to copy all the code we just copy certain lines uh, which is 
uh, which is there for these instruction when you work on the large document uh, you need to follow this method uh, only you need to change the certain part of your code or certain lines of your code so I am going to change only these two lines because these two lines only changed everything else is similar or there is other way you can just ask a specific and uh, he will also uh, I, I mean chat GPT suggest you the specific lines only to change in your code uh, we just have to use our uh, creativity and uh, little more passion for learning uh, I hope uh, you like the video and if you like it please like comment and subscribe this channel and also share with your friends